Super Saturday in Oxford means that people here can do what people here love to do, which is to have an early evening drink by the river. Even if it is a little bit chilly here, it's, uh, it's trying to drizzle a bit. This pub opened at about 11am this morning, so not desperately early, and there's a system going here. You're met at a kind of reception area, then you go through a one-way system through the pub, past the bar, make your order for your drinks, leave your name and number, and then, to be honest, most people are heading outside because the rules inside are that you can only meet uh, people from one other household, but outside... I could, say, meet uh, friends from five other households, so long as we're all socially distant from the next group. And there's plenty of room here for people to space out, so they're very lucky. So, really, a very civilised start to Super Saturday here. And it was the same feeling, really, across Oxford as we spent the day seeing how people are enjoying their new freedoms. Early doors and they were queuing in the rain. Not for a pint, but a haircut. The first were here more than an hour before the doors opened. Oh my goodness, after three months of waiting. So I'm very excited to have my haircut done today. I just need a bit of a trim up and tidy up on the beard, not the head. <laughs> and I just messaged in the morning saying that do you have a queue? Like the queue started up, so I just ran for my home. Do you have a particular um, style? On the side here, a little bit, a trim here, short on the sides and a line here. Look sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Unlocking places like this isn't without risk. Coronavirus has cost tens of thousands of lives and hasn't gone away. But the government says it's a line we can tread with precautions like distancing and masks. The barbers here were working hard to make up for lost business. They've been queuing up 8 o'clock in the morning as I was seeing on CCTV. It was crazy. I mean... You know, um, we normally get people waiting like five minutes, ten minutes before, but not like an hour before waiting, so... Was it a bit emotional? It was, it was. I'm not going to lie, it was a bit emotional. Maybe it was the weather, but Super Saturday took a while to warm up. People in Oxford playing it cool. The pubs got ready to welcome customers, but not everywhere that can open has opened. This cinema is staying shut. Overwhelmingly, um, about 60% of our audience said they're not ready to come back to cinema until September. Some people are obviously sh shielding and things like this. Some people thought um, that uh, they wanted to just to wait and see how Super Saturday and all, you know, the shops reopening, the pubs reopening, how that looked and felt in order for them to, to, to make a judgment as to how they would feel about being inside. The cinema's fans have donated money to cover the rent until they return. On the upside, at least, at last, playgrounds were finally open today. After three months, much to parents' relief, children can let off steam. So we were here when the guy unlocked the gate, and it was, uh, it was a strangely poignant moment to sort of see the gates unlocked after all this time and for us to come in and, you know... Our son's been asking about when the park is going to be open for so long now and so it was exciting to get in and we've just spent about half an hour in the swings and my arms, my arms are sore. Was it fun in the park? No, I don't <laughs> No. It's a big relief because playgrounds are open and we can have lots of fun and going down slides and it's really fun and see other people that we haven't seen for a long time. It's been ages since we could go out for lunch too. The government needs us to feed the economy. For so long, we've had few reasons to spend money. We are a new business, so we opened January. Very unfortunate, three months of life and we had to shut down. And uh, yeah, this is the worst way how to start a business. But hopefully uh, things will get better. After lockdown, a few more everyday pleasures. But it's a balance of risks and people are being urged to use their freedom wisely. Well, the government's telling us we're under strict instructions to do this responsibly. Uh, the night is young. We'll see what happens uh, over the course of the evening. But so far, so good here in Oxford. Pretty civilised. Um, but this pub was bought by its owners because they are musicians and it is a live music venue. And at the moment, that is still not allowed in England. So what they're really hoping for is a little bit more freedom so that they can get the live music going again.